gospel and homily for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He then took the guests, told the guests a parable because he had noticed how they picked the places of honour. He said this, When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take your seat in the place of honour. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited, and the person who invited you both may come and say, Give up your place to this man. And then to your embarrassment, you would have to go and take the lowest place. No, when you are a guest, make your way to the lowest place and sit there so that when the host comes in, he may say, My friend, move up higher. In that way, everyone with you at the table will be honoured or will see you honoured. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and the man who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he said to his host, when you give a lunch or a dinner, do not ask your friends, brothers, relations, or rich neighbours for fear they repay your courtesy by inviting you in return. No. When you have a party, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. That they cannot pay you back means that you are fortunate because repayment will be made to you when the virtuous rise again. The Gospel of the Lord. Some foreign tourists one day visited the home of Beethoven. A young woman among them sat down at the great composer's piano and she began to play the Moonlight Sonata. After she had finished, she turned to the old caretaker and said, I suppose a great many musicians visit this place every year. Yes, he replied. Paderewski, the famous Polish pianist, he was here last year. And did he play Beethoven's piano? She asked. No, he said. He didn't consider himself worthy. I suppose that's one way of bringing a person down to size. Jesus noticed how the Pharisees picked the places of honour at table. I suppose most of it of us could put up with sitting halfway down the table, but the lowest place, no thank you. And yet in today's gospel, Jesus asks us to do precisely that. As part of our fallen human nature, there is a tendency to get ourselves noticed for what we do or who we are. In contrast, Jesus says that when we do some good deeds for someone, we are not to have it trumpeted before us to win the admiration of people. Jesus gave us eight Beatitudes, but flicking through a spiritual book recently, I noticed where the devil also has Beatitudes, and one of them runs like this. Blessed are those who wait to be asked and expect to be thanked for what they do. I can use them. That doesn't, of course, at all mean that we take people for granted. Generally speaking, we don't like to be overlooked or passed over. It's a blow to our pride. But if it happens to us, it may just be a grace intended to make us more like Jesus, who chose the last place, and he became the servant of all. What did St. Therese say? This is what she said. If we go through life without anyone noticing our accomplishments, so much the better. Now our own Saint Vincent says, ordinarily God allows us to sit in the lowest place to free us, free us from some hidden pride. I think it's interesting to note that after Jesus performed a miracle, he often beat a hasty retreat from the scene. 
He shunned the limelight because he didn't want celebrity status to go to his head, thereby attracting the wrong kind of follower. Remember, they wanted to make him king after he miraculously fed the 5,000, but he immediately fled the scene. At the wedding breakfast at Cana, his mother seems to have put him on the spot by asking him to turn water into wine. Jesus was obviously embarrassed by being asked to perform a quick on-the-spot miracle, and he told his mother Mary to hold her horses. It wasn't the right moment. But deep down, he also knew he couldn't turn his mother down. Here we see Jesus being humble enough to forego his own wishes in favour of his mother's, while at the same time keeping very quiet about the miracle he just performed. The chief sword, steward, the man in charge, he had no idea where this superb wine came from because Jesus and his mother kept a low profile and they didn't tell anybody. So, blowing our own trumpet or expecting others to do it for us was not the Lord's way. Neither should it be ours. If we're quite content to sit with the meek and lowly at the lower end of life's table, on the day of reckoning, we'll be asked to move up higher. The lowly will be exalted. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.